kind of sustains that ambition. Uh, certainly the, the money is more dependable and stuff like that, so I understand why a lot of people do end up teaching. Um, it's rewarding. It's cool when you can help someone to, to save time. I'm completely self-taught. There's certain obvious things it took me a long time to work out. So if you can save some student five years of wasted life, it would be rude not to. Right? But honestly, I'm trying to rule, rule teaching out of my life now. I feel that I've done a lot of it, and it's time to focus more on the other things that I need to do. How, do you, how important do you think that formal education is for a musician? Uh, it depends on the musician. Let me, let me think now. Steve Vai is a very schooled musician. I'm sure without that schooling, he wouldn't be the player he is today. But then you look at someone like B.B. King or Eddie Van Halen, maybe they don't know what they're doing to the same extent and it hasn't harmed them. I think the important thing is that the player has to carve out their own identity, which means listening to the music that's in your head. And some people need a big book of theory and three years at university to be able to capture the music they hear in their head. Some people just do it naturally, doesn't have a clue what he's doing, but it's astonishing. So there's no simple answer, I don't think. It depends who you are and what it is you're trying to do.